Mercury's orbit is not following what it should. That's the closest planet to the sun. Well, we've been down that path before. Just throw in another planet that we can't see, and that'll fix it. Thus was introduced planet Vulcan. This would be a planet very close to the sun. So close it would be hard to see, it'd be lost in the glare. No one found it. Einstein comes along, comes up with his theory of motion and his theory of gravity, which are corrections to Newton's laws in these extreme regimes. If you're near the sun, the sun has very strong gravity. If you're moving around in that strong force of gravity, Newton's laws begin to fail. And you look at Einstein's laws, and he says, Mercury's orbit will not follow Newton's laws, it'll follow this other path. And it exactly explained the deviations of Mercury. And so people say, oh, see, scientists, we thought this was right, and now we all huddle around this thing that's right. No, the way it works is if you have an experimentally determined result, and it's verified, and double-checked and triple-checked, that will not later be shown to be false. What you can find is a deeper understanding that encloses that understanding.